Hello everybody, welcome to Corey Turner Talks Cars, and today we're going to talk about car wraps. As a matter of fact, I found some really cool ones online, and I thought I'd bring them to you and show them to you. Now the reason I decided to look at car wraps was because I saw this bad boy right here. This is the Dallas Renegades pickup truck. It's been completely wrapped in the Dallas Renegades in the logo, the XFL logo, and if you're like, who are the Dallas Renegades? Well, they're in the XFL. You may not know this. I'm surprised if you don't, but the XFL is back. As a matter of fact, it kicks off this coming Saturday. Now, the Dallas Renegades, I got my hoodie on right there. Man, doesn't that look good? Uh, they don't kick off until their home opener is Sunday night, but the league itself kicks off on Saturday. Now, this is not the XFL that you remember from the He Hate Me days, right? This is, I call it XFL 2.0. This is the new XFL, and I tell you what, best I can tell, they are doing everything right. It's definitely about player safety. It's about speed of play. They've changed up a lot of things, and I think for good. I mean, a double forward pass, that's pretty cool. And they've totally, totally changed up like the point after a touchdown, right? The extra point. They've changed it to, uh, well, I tell you what. Let's make it a contest. Go on there and search and find out what the XFL has done to the extra point. Uh, leave that in the comments, and then I'll be sure and give you a shout out. We'll do something fun. But they've made a lot of great changes. We're super excited about it. As a matter of fact, uh, my family, we're season ticket holders. We can't wait for the season to start. We've got our gear. And it was when I saw this pickup truck with this wrap on it, I thought, you know what? I've seen some cool wraps out there, so let's do some... Uh, Let's do a show about these cool wraps. Also, if you're excited about the XFL, be sure to leave me a comment. Let me know what team you're rooting for. I think you should root for the Dallas Renegades, but that's okay. You probably have a home team that you're rooting for. If you're like me, I go into withdrawals when the Super Bowl's over. I need football really bad. And so the fact that there's a spring league... Super excited and super stoked about that. So some people actually sent me some pictures. Uh, uh, Francisco Aguilar sent me this one here of the Dallas Renegade pickup truck. I've got a few more that some people sent me. Daniel Fernandez sent this one. As you can see, that wrap is super sharp. And then uh, Ian Kinder actually sent this one to me as well. So those are some really cool shots of the Dallas Renegades uh, pickup truck. But here's some other cool wraps I have found. I really like the wraps that are that make the car look old and destroyed. I don't know exactly why. I think it is, with a wrap like that, what does it matter, right? I mean, you're doing it to kind of make a statement, but at the same time, you're, it's not about a competition about having the, the sweetest car or the, the one that is sharp, just like all the others are the best paint job. It's actually about going the other direction and making a statement. So this Challenger right here, looks it looks rusted out. It kind of looks destroyed. As a matter of fact, not too long ago, we did a show on a, on a Charger, an SRT, that I call it like the zombie Charger because it looks destroyed. As a matter of fact, I'll put a link there so you can check it out. Be sure to check that out later. But I like it when they make it look like that. I think these are cool. Check this one out here. Uh, this BMW, it looks rusted out. I love that it looks like it has rivets all the way across it. This car looks like it's been to war and back. I think that is super cool. Uh, this one here, this Volkswagen, I mean, it looks like the paint is peeling off. It looks completely rusted out. If I saw that car in the parking lot, which I wish I would, I'd love to see one like that, I'd have to walk up and probably touch it. I mean, it looks like they did an amazing job on that one. Absolutely love it. Of course, now you've got the funny ones. Uh, here's the guy on his motorcycle. Of course, he's driving around in a smart car. I think that was pretty good. That's actually a really sharp wrap. They did a really good job on that one. Uh, and that is, that's hilarious. I think that looks really funny. Uh, this one, it's a little fuzzy, but uh, <laughs> it's funny to me that it's a guy's face, uh, but he wears the bikini well, doesn't he? <laughs> So that one's pretty cool. So you can do it at an advertisement, just like the Dallas Renegades are. You can do it that way. It's pretty cool. Here's one, uh, Captain America. It's always, it's always a little crazy when you see a, an exotic car with the wrap because you your first thought is, I don't know if I want to touch that thing at all. Let's just let it be. But then when you see somebody do it and they do it like this, I'm like, man, that is that is sweet. So uh, that's a really cool one right there. Uh, now you can express yourself if you want to do Hello Kitty, right? We had someone do Captain America. This person did Hello Kitty. That looks pretty sharp and pretty funny on there. Um, and then, uh, well, shout out to Louis Vuitton, right? Now, I think it's funny is, boy, that poor car is beat up, but the, but the wrap makes it look really cool. I got to tell you, 
A wrap can really save a car. It's a cheaper option usually than getting a real paint job, right? It adds some, or you can really get, uh, you know, you earn personality in it, your own flair in it. And, and when someone's like, hey, I just got the car wrapped and I go see it and I'm like, it's black and that's it. Like they didn't, they didn't do anything with it. So that's okay if that's what your preference is, but you have the opportunity to really express yourself, really do something cool, really stand out. You can do that with a wrap. That's hard to do with just a paint job, but these wraps are cool. So that one's funny. Uh, here we got some where they just kind of went, uh, did something that's a, a kind of a blown out camouflage. I like that. I think that looks good. Uh, they did it here. This is a little more abstract. I think that looks pretty sharp. This one is super cool to me. This is like a pixelated Mustang, as you can see. I think that looks really good. It's kind of like the new age camouflage that is more pixelated and broken up that way. I think that one looks pretty sharp. Um, hey, a cool PT Cruiser. Let's check that out. That looks really cool. Check out everything they have on there. Wow, they did a lot to that bad boy. That looks cool. I think that's awesome. Uh, you know, okay, about the PT Cruiser. Okay, you guys laugh at me every time I get comments about it, but I don't think it's that bad. I think the PT Cruiser is kind of cool. And, and especially when you start understanding the history of the PT Cruiser, it was started by Plymouth, and it was supposed to be a truck. It got around any of the car you know, requirements and things like that from the government they had to do. So PT was Plymouth truck. When Plymouth went away, Chrysler took over the production of that, and it was the PT Cruiser. But I still think it's, I think it's cool. I know. Laugh at me, what, as you will. Now, this one's cool. Look what they did with this Volkswagen. They put that face on the front. That is super sharp. That's a good-looking car. Got it right there on the side, too. That's awesome. Um, I like this one because this one, I mean, it makes me think of Tron. Uh, and, of course, I go back a ways to the original Tron. I thought that was pretty cool. But I like the, the what they did with that one, with that wrap, to make it look like Tron. I think that's pretty cool. Now, this next one, I think this is awesome. This is my favorite one that I have found. Uh, check it out. Like a giant anaconda has wrapped itself around that big bus and is squeezing it to death. Death. I think that is a fantastic wrap job. I think that is awesome. I think they did amazing with that. So it's just crazy what people can do with wraps uh, and that people are getting much more creative with it. If you have seen a cool one, be sure to send it to me. I'll give you a shout out. If you do wraps, I would actually like to talk to you. Maybe we can interview, interview you on the show, kind of talk about the process. What does it look like? What do you have to go through? Is everything pretty much template based? I mean, exactly kind of how does it work? What's the crazy ones you did? So if you know somebody that does wraps, let me know. If you see some or had a cool wrap, you know, take a picture, send it my way. We're going to check that out. If you're excited about the XFL, just like I am, be sure to leave me a comment about that. Good luck to your team. But of course, you know, I'm rooting for the, I'm rooting for the Renegades. But that's okay. It's a hometown team, but I'm just excited that there is spring football and I'm super excited. The XFL is bringing stuff back. Oh yeah. And like earlier, we'll make it a contest. How is the XFL doing the extra point? What have they broken it down? They have totally changed it. I'm going to give you a hint. There's no kicking involved in the extra point anymore. And you have three options. Pretty crazy. Overtime's crazy, too. Best out of five. It's kind of like a soccer PK shootout in any way. But anyway, uh, let me know which team you're rooting for. Let me know if you're excited about the XFL. Uh, be sure to send me some great pictures of any of the wraps you've seen on some cool cars. Remember to like, comment, and share. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Let's talk about cars tomorrow.